Welcome back to the roundup. We have Jared, we got Josh, and we got Jared. Yeah. Triple J's. And we are here discussing politics, the things that are impacting the youth today. Yes, this is the Bernie Sanders roundup. Yeah, this is the Bernie Sanders roundup. We're discussing the new fad, which is Bernie Sanders. It's been a real hot topic. I heard, and he's been discussing importing, uh, Importing the Mexicans, I hear. Importing the Mexicans, yes. That's very different to what Donald Trump has decided to do. Yeah. He actually, Donald, it's funny you mentioned that, Jerry, because Donald Trump wants to export the Mexicans. Right. And when you have the exportation of Mexicans, you know, you don't have a good influx of green cards in the country, which you really need to help expand the job market. And okay. that's, that's a big thing with the Republican Party, is they don't like expanding the job market. They like taking it down by exporting all the green card having Mexicans. Yeah, and that's kind of a concept that a lot of Trump supporters, I don't think they've considered it. Yeah, Donald Trump supporters are a real rare breed. Mm. They're almost unnecessary. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I, I agree. I think that uh, they're kind of like surplus people. Yeah, you know what we should begin doing instead? I think Bernie should propose a bill within the next like six weeks. Uh, this will really get him elected. If he proposes a bill where instead of exporting Muslims, Mormons, and Mexicans, he's exporting uh, the Donald Trump supporters. Because they really don't contribute anything to this country. They're just like... Very, very interesting. Wow. We are on fire tonight, guys. Now, how do you feel about uh, Trump's recent statements on the uh, the gay marriage crisis? Oh, about uh, how most most gays are, are in fact Chinese, of Chinese descent. Yeah, about the Chinese gay. The well, I found it very interesting. Uh, <clears throat> there's a reason that I didn't really like gay people. I think maybe it's more to do with their Chinese descent. Very interesting. See, Josh, but one of the things you're forgetting about the Chinese crisis is that a lot of them are actually homosexual, which just adds to the homosexual crisis and the gay crisis. God. Well, statistics show that actually only 49% of homosexuals are, in fact, Chinese. For, did you say 46%? Yeah, by the recent board of studies. So then, done. Have, what's the other percent? Well, it would be whatever's, you know... 46 minus 100. I believe it. I believe it would be. Uh, well, see, that's that's just homosexual. 34 percent, and that and that's Caucasian. That's the rest are Caucasians. I think. I think the one I heard that uh, struck me struck me the uh, the most in, intelligent and important is uh, it's not the white crisis. Uh, so where do you see Donald Trump in terms of uh, ratios, racial ratios? So, what are your feelings on uh, Donald Trump's more recent ratios? Uh, there's a lot of numbers kind of being thrown around. There's a lot of percentage points just kind of being kind of being allocated in different realms of the political process. I feel about, I feel like the uh, the real issue here is the the gay Chinaman crisis. Mm -hmm. And I'll get back to your question, but what we really need to focus on is that these gay Chinamen can't get gay married with other gay green cards. And Trump hasn't even really focused on that issue at all during this residential debate. It's the Bernie Sanders roundup. <laughs> the worst political show. <laughs> it's the Bernie Sanders roundup. This is the roundup. Today we're talking politics. You gotta give it more enthusiasm, man. Okay. <laughs> this is the roundup. Today we're talking politics. Politics are in heat this season as we have Bernie Sanders who's taking over the headlines in the national polls. Politics are a hot topic. Do you have any political views that you'd like to share with the politicians here in the United States of America? I think you guys are doing a great job over in the U.S. of A. Uh, we want to be more like you. Um, is there a question? As you can see, we're dealing with a lot of money today on the set and that's uh that's that's a lot to think about you know and tackling the whole Bernie Sanders issue you know it's always been on my mind is Trump you know the one that we want for president um, is there a question we got some hot topics for all for all of you viewers today we are talking 
politics, the social issues that are impacting America today. And um, I think Bernie Sanders has been on all of our minds lately, so we're gonna jump right into that one. This is the Bernie Sanders roundup. Bernie Sanders has a lot of great policies. Do you have anything uh, you wanna say about Bernie Sanders? Uh, I think that's a really, actually a really good point that needs to be touched upon more in the racial debate. Bernie Sanders is the man, dude. I think everyone should vote for Bernie Sanders and get out and totally like love on the caucus for him. Do you agree with Bernie Sanders' support of marijuana? Do I agree with Bernie Sanders' support of marijuana? Do you agree with it, or do you think that's just a lot of hocus pocus that the well, media is? I'll tell you one thing. Stirring is up. That one thing is that I definitely agree with it. Okay. But I don't know how much, how far I'd go with agreeing with it. Is <laughs> there um, a question? What kind of um, what kind of things would you like to see from Bernie Sanders? in the either the near future or the or the, the more distant future i don't agree with his statements about M michelle obama the sex tape but i would like to see him i really hope he makes uh robots a prominent part of society i hope that's top on the agenda i think that's one of the, his main talking points yeah, during yeah. his his uh funding the robot technology yeah. Uh, Jared, have you seen the Michelle Obama sex tape? Yes. That's uh, been a real hot I, I would give it a two out of five stars, just because the production value was subpar. They didn't include Bernie, which shocked me, really, because he's such a hot topic nowadays. The Bernie Sanders Roundtable? Um, is there a question? I think we're touching upon some interesting concepts tonight as we're delving into sort of the mechanics of the whole process in the voting system. And I think that Bernie Sanders is a key component in really understanding the future of nanotechnology itself. And I really support the whole robot thing. He's, he's crazy about robots, and I'm crazy about him. I saw Bernie Sanders on the street. There's not, there's not much that I wouldn't say to him or, or do to him around him. I feel like he's a real trustworthy person. I think that's a real interesting point. Bernie Sanders. He's a trustworthy fellow. He deserves your vote. So register as a Democrat and read up on robotics. I think that's a really interesting point and it kind of sums up what I was saying, the whole robot thing that I'm super psyched about in the upcoming year. Ian. Yeah. How do you feel about what Trump has said about Bernie Sanders' platform? I think that that's, I think that's really wrong of him, because um, Bernie Sanders has such a nice. <laughs> Bernie Sanders has a real nice platform. I like his platform, his platform is really nice. It's a really great platform. You think it's working out for him this year? His platform is so good, so. Okay. How do you feel about his? Uh the recent remarks that Trump has said about Hillary Clinton. Well, Bernie Sanders is the kind of person that <laughs> he builds a really good platform. The Sanders platform has always been kind of top notch in the whole the politics realm. I have one more thing to say about the Bernie Sanders platform. Yes. It's made out of strong mahogany wood and it doesn't really get much better than that. Wait, do you know where he built his platform? Uh, anything other than the fact that it's made of strong mahogany wood harvested here in the United States. So what's his platform built in the United States? I can't uh, release that information, but I, what I can tell you is that it's made of a very strong mahogany wood. I think the Bernie Sanders platform is the strongest platform in the residential debate. There are quite a lot of good uh, poker platforms out there, but it's good to hear that Bernie Sanders has a nice mahogany one grown right here in the United States of America. Is there a question? Is there a question? So Bernie Sanders has announced his run for presidency. Do you, do you think that he should have announced his run at a different time? I think uh, the timing couldn't have been better because he, you could tell he was very aware of uh, his surroundings during the time that he decided to do the things that would greatly affect him. I think Bernie Sanders is a competitor, for one. He 
he knows how to he knows how to bring it to the table. He knows how to. Do you have anything to say about Bernie Sanders? Yeah, I fucking love Bernie Sanders. When we first entered the uh, the Democratic uh, race, we uh, didn't realize it was going to be this hard to cover topics. Um, so we all just uh, and this is what the show turns into. No what? Hmm? We're gonna talk politics. It's like bullshit, but yeah. Like this one. Things are better now. <laughs> the use of alcohol and marijuana. Don't forget heroin, dude. Publicly. Dude. <laughs> Jared Levi, speaking on the Bernie Sanders issue, what do you have to say about... <laughs> <laughs> Where are you on the issue of gay marriage, Josh? It's the Bernie Sanders roundup. <laughs> I like that answer.